after filming a handful of snarky puppy albums, um, I wasn't concerned when 12 hours before I was supposed to film Bill Lawrence's new record, I got a text telling me that we no longer had a studio and the project was on hold. If there was ever a lesson in how to stay calm and how to just focus on the positive and turn an, a disadvantage into an advantage, uh, <laughs> this is it. This was it indeed. Spending nearly two weeks watching Bill Lawrence and his posse of creative gurus was nothing short of life-changing. Every day was a new crisis, a new disaster, and ultimately, a new triumph. I think everyone bar, I think we have one violinist has said they can't make it. Um, we just got one. Did we? <laughs> <laughs> Solving problems. Great. The tone for the project was set when just 12 hours before the session was scheduled to begin, the band discovered the studio they booked months before the recording was double booked and no longer available. This meant that in those 12 hours, they had to find a new studio and reschedule or replace many of the musicians they had originally booked. Despite that, everybody seemed cautiously optimistic. Do you have all the uh, wind stuff done? Um, no. I'm doing winds and strings simultaneously, so no. I've got 12 hours to get all that stuff done, which should be a piece of cake. The orchestra has arrived. And you're still arranging. I'm <laughs> still arranging. With everything they were up against, I didn't have the heart to tell them that this was going to be the last project I was going to be able to film for them. Because just a few days before the recording, I was offered a full-time job that I just couldn't refuse. So I figured I should just relax, and document the recording of Bill's music as it became realized against all reasonable odds. The film and the record come out through Ground Up Music in May of 2014. Check them out.